Hello. Today we're going to learn how to import and or build and modify libraries in Library View. The ability to modify and create custom libraries of compounds that you are interested in is one of the more powerful features of Library View. Let's get started. Here we have the main screen for Library View that shows the compound database. If you look down to the lower right hand side of the screen, you will see an import button. Click on that and we'll start the import process. Once you've clicked on the import button, a library source type window will come up. As you can see, there are a variety of library formats supported in Library View. For this example, we'll select an analyst compound database, but the procedure is similar for all file types. Clicking on the analyst compound database button opens the file location window. You can now browse to your analyst library and import it into Library View. Once you select the library, a dialog box will open listing all the compounds in the library. You can select all compounds using the top left checkbox or select individual compounds to import. We'll import all of the compounds in this example. Once you've selected your compounds, you can add them to an existing library or create a new library by simply typing in a new name in the Add Compound Library box. After all the compounds have been imported, the Conflict Resolution box will open if any conflicts are found. Conflicts occur if you import compounds that are already in your database with that name. When conflicts happen, you will have three options. You can keep the original record and discard the new one. You can overwrite the original record with new information. Or you can merge the data from the original and new record. Merge allows you to bring in new information that might be present in the compound you are currently importing, but not in your current compound database. While the new information could be anything, a good example would be a new spectra with a different collision energy that was not in your database before. Merge allows you to add this data. You can also look at conflicts compound by compound. Here you have the merge and keep original option, but you also have a resolve option. Select and resolve opens a dialog box that allows you to compare the original record with the new one being imported. Here you can examine the records and decide if you want to keep the original or overwrite the data and use the new record. Once you have resolved all the conflicts, you can finish the compound import. Now let's take a look at how to add a new compound to your library database. Start by clicking the Add Compound icon in the lower left hand side of the View Compound window. This will open a new compound window. Here you will see a variety of information fields. We will add compound information including name, chemical formula, and CAS number if known. We will also add MRM transition information along with spectra. You can add compounds with as little as name only, but of course the more information you have, the more useful your database. Once you've entered all the desired information, you can save the compound. Now we can add spectra to the compound. Click on the MS Spectra tab and then click Edit Mode and then Add Spectra. The Add Spectra window will open and we can browse to the data file that contains the spectrum of interest. Click on the peak that contains the spectrum of interest and add the spectra to the list. You can now save the spectra to the new compound you've added. Finally, I'm going to show you how to create new libraries of compounds already in your database. This is extremely useful if you do multiple assays on a system and only want to search a smaller subset of your total compound database. If you look up in the upper left hand corner of Library View, you will see the library's heading. If you right click on the libraries, you will be asked if you want to create a new library. Type in a name for your new library. You now have an empty library you can add compounds to. If you are looking for a specific compound, you can use the search box in the upper right hand corner. Type in the name or partial name of the compound you are looking for. You can then select the compound you are looking for and drag it to the library. You can also highlight multiple compounds using the control key and drag them to the library.
That concludes the video on importing and building libraries in Library View. Thanks for watching and learning about Library View.